Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're playing some City Skylines again today. We are going to work on the university campus. Uh, we have two university buildings right side by side, and that uh, puts us way, 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 way over capacity for university. Uh, we have 2,700 people eligible, and we have 9,000 uh, capacity. So we are going to get rid of one of these. Just take that out. We are going to just work on this campus here. And uh, I think what we're going to do, let's see how our medical coverage is. Uh, that should be okay. I was going to put a hospital maybe, you know, uh, universities typically do have hospitals near them as a teaching school. I think maybe let's do it anyway. It'll give us some extra ambulances to uh, have around the city as well. So let's start out with that. The other thing universities typically have is some sort of a common gathering area. Uh, and some scientific type stuff. So a botanical garden seems to fit quite well in here and it'll bring our park value up just a bit as well. So let's put that in there. And uh, the other thing I want to do is put a basketball court because uh, universities typically have some sporting facilities as well. Let's put it right about in the middle. Now in the center of this, uh, we're going to just create some pathing, pedestrian pathing and some trees and that sort of thing and make it look nice make kind of a centerpiece of the downtown area so let's start out with uh with some pathing and i think we're going to go with a concrete path uh, because these are they're not a park type thing these are for getting people around the campus so let's uh let's start out we'll just make some random paths that's kind of weird there but that's just fine We'll make a path right around the basketball court if we can. Okay, and then we definitely want something going toward the hospital. And from the hospital to the road. Something like that. A little bit of uh, this respawned. This zoning respawn. I did dezone everything before we started the episode today, so that respawned. There's a little bit of a bug with that. I'm, I'm not sure why it's doing that, but it, it has been doing that quite a bit. Okay, so we have some pathing done. We could do a little bit of high-density residential. That'll look kind of like uh, student dormitories. So we'll put those back there and maybe see look it respawned again um, We'll just we'll just zone this as uh, residential and that'll take care of that issue We'll leave that alone. Uh, I think that's enough just the way it is Let's get some trees in here to get this looking half decent I'm not going to use the uh, tree brush tool because I want to set these down manually and, and make it look really manicured and groomed Okay, we'll do a, a double tree line here along this path, and then in the corner I'm going to do some smaller plants. So we'll do some little guys along the border. Let's zoom in so we got a better shot of this. And then we'll do a little bit bigger plants as a second layer. There, it looks kind of neat. I think right along the paths you would have smaller plants. Not, not big trees, very imposing like. And we're not going to fill in all the space. We'll fill in the uh, kind of border like this. And then in these bigger spaces, I think we're just going to plop some trees kind of randomly. It wouldn't be too, too dense. 
especially around a botanical garden because they want people to come inside and look at the plants. We have a crematorium here and surprisingly the campus, uh, the university that I went to, actually does have a crematorium in it. It is not for humans though, it's for animals. It's a veterinary hospital and they have a crematorium right there on campus. Just line this guy a little bit with the small plants and we'll do a second row of shrubs right behind it I think. Now what to do on this corner? Is this guy still zoned? Oh, we have uh, we have high density residential in there. Is that dezoning or is it? It is getting sticky, isn't it? It does not want to dezone. Let's try the marquee tool. See if that works any better. Demolish. There we go. Okay, let's put a couple trees just right on the corner where there isn't any zoning. And uh, that looks pretty cool. That, you know, it looks like a small university campus. We've got the teaching hospital over here, the main campus. We've got some recreational facilities, scientific botanical garden. I suppose we could do a unique building in here. We haven't done a unique building yet. Let's see what we have available to us. Uh, transport tower, how big is that sucker? Ooh, that is huge. What is this guy? Mall of Moderation, that just does not fit. Fountain of Life and Death, what is the thing of this? Does it have a uh, noise pollution 25? I suppose it doesn't matter too much. What do we, these, these are businesses, so we could do a noisy building there, no problem. What is this one? Friendly Neighborhood Park, that might be better. Yeah, let's do that. There, that looks really cool. So now we've got a, a very nice campus district here. Uh, I really like that. Once this fills in a little bit, there's going to be some fill in here. Do I really want houses there? I think I'm going to dezone that. I don't think I like having uh, houses there. Or here for that matter. On the corner is okay. And uh, the back side, yeah, let's get rid of that as well. Let's just get rid of all of this. We'll just leave it nice and open. That looks pretty good, I think. Let's zone this. What do we have here? These are commercial? High density residential. Let's do a little more right there and right there. Very cool. Now we've got Central University Park. Beautiful looking campus. Oh, maybe we should... No, that'll fill in. That'll fill in eventually. Okay, let's let the game run. Uh, right now I'm not concentrating at all on expanding the city. I, I have traffic issues in the city and I don't need any more population right now. We kind of went on a bit of a tear for population when we put in the new areas. We put in two big uh, residential areas in the last little while and our traffic is, is starting to be tested at this point and uh, I need to get that under control before I can decide to uh, expand any further. 
So we are going to concentrate on making sure our traffic is uh, is working before we bump up. We got some buildings upgrading here, which is great. They are uh, coming up to level five. Nice, big, tall residential buildings. Whoops, didn't want to click on Chirper. Get out of there. There we go. Level five residential. Fantastico. So we've got all their needs met to a, a great enough extent that um, they're now level five. So look at look at how cool that is. Let's let's just watch this for a second. Helipads on top of apartment buildings that I haven't seen before. Well, that was kind of neat. Uh, the buildings look pretty good, I think. They've got reflective surfaces. There's some really cool looking ones in here. Four senior living. Hmm. So let's talk about the traffic issues. How are we going to resolve these? Well, there's a few things I need to do. Uh, first is I need to go through the roads, which I won't do on camera because it's, it's going to be a bit tedious. And think, okay, if I were coming down this road, where would I want to be going and how would I get there? And when you think about those sorts of things, you, you see where the traffic pattern would be, what roads they would take, that sort of thing, and then plan accordingly. The other thing I need to do is look as far downstream as I possibly can. And as far downstream for me is this connection over here. And we'll see following, following where the traffic starts to back up. You can start to see issues in this area. Uh, this area is pretty darn good, but once you get down into here, uh-oh, we have backups. Uh, so this will be one of the areas we'll have to resolve, and I think we'll resolve it by looking, again, downstream from where the traffic is and see if we can change something in there that will remedy the situation upstream. This ugly round or uh, interchange here was what I put in a couple episodes ago, and the interchange itself works okay, but the on-ramp system is deficient. You can see some backups. Uh, the trucks are backing up. What I need to do is follow these trucks and see where they're going and see if I can make a more direct access road uh, to where they need to go. I suspect a lot of them are just coming back this way. And I took out uh, an off-ramp or an on-ramp over here that I had in before. There was actually another one right here. It was kind of important because this is a one-way road and if they needed to do anything in this area and then get onto the highway, that's how they were doing it. I still have the on-ramp here, which is still fairly used. Another off-ramp congestion here. And uh, this area is particularly bad. We have to, we have to work on this. But the, uh, the other ways that I'm going to be resolving this is to bring a cargo train station down into this area somewhere. These businesses don't have customers, some of them don't have goods, uh, and we need to resolve that. And the best way to get trucks off the road, like if they're importing, say they're importing from the train station over here. So they'll pick up stuff and then they gotta drive all the way through the city to get over here. I wanna have something that's a little bit more central. The trains can bring in tons and tons of goods, and then the little mini trucks can shoot through and uh, and uh, deliver the goods to the businesses that need it. So I need to think about transportation. I need to also think about uh, passenger transportation because as you can see, there's still an awful lot of regular cars on the road. And when you have good public transportation, you'll notice a very large reduction of uh, residential cars. And so I need to work on uh, getting the residential traffic off of the roads as well and the way to do that is to have very good public transportation So we'll be working on metro passenger train, maybe 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 passenger train and uh, Bus lines. So those are the those will be the big big three that we'll be working on This tra uh, train station I put in a couple episodes ago is busy as hell uh, Lots of goods being delivered lots of goods being exported from here very very busy train station this is why we're getting some bad traffic in this area as well. So we might have to think about how we work on this. This train station comes up to this train station or to the 
regional connection that's over here. A lot of the trains that come out of here bypass and they go out to the region because I think they're exporting. They're exporting goods. Anyway, guys, short episode today. I wanted to get the campus done and we got it done. It's a pretty cool little cent centerpiece of our city. As our city develops, we're going to be doing more of this redevelopment. Uh, you know, we've got some crazy roads and things in here that were made a lot of sense when we were growing and now probably don't make too much sense. So we will come back and fix areas like this as we did with the campus, beautify the city and uh, get ourselves ready to grow to the 100,000 plus population mark. So for today, guys, thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, uh, please give me a like below. I always appreciate that. If you are so inclined, a subscription is also very welcome. Thanks very much, guys. Bye-bye.